it's totally up to us as the human race to fix this. And we have to find a way to fix it. I mean, we've destroyed it already. It's fixable, but we have to start now. And this is one program or a step in the right direction of getting there. Essentially, in ground level sports, there is no light at or above the horizon. With the OSL program, it is application based. So as designed, no lumens can be directed upward above the horizon unless you are an aerial sport. Uh, what I tell people all the time, and there's no, there's no point in lighting a baseball field if you can't see the object in flight. So what it's saying is for aerial sports in bullet number two is that you are only allowed up to 8% of the total lumens generated. And that is a very controlled amount. If you look at this graphic on here, there's a blue hatch that goes around the targeted area. It's a little buffer zone that allows for about a 10 meters or 33 feet outside the target of play. 85% of all the light generated needs to fall within that zone. If that doesn't happen and you got more light than the 15% outside of that, then you're not in conformance and James will say it's not going to work. We're really talking about targeting the lumens onto the target plane. So can we get some sort of commitment from the community that we are going to reverse this light pollution trend and adopt some of these guidelines so that we can do better 